Hey guys, it's me from the Boys and Girls Club of Western Nevada. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a cat. Okay, so last time I drew, taught you how to draw a pug. If you guys drew that, that's amazing, I wanna see it. But today, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a cat. So, um, come on over here and I'll show you how to, I'm gonna draw this cat. So I'm gonna stand right here. Now, what we want is we want a cute little W for his mouth. It depends on how big you want it, but I, I want that. That looks like a good cat, huh? Okay, and then we add a little bit of a nose. A cat's nose is like a triangle. So you wanna add it kind of like that. There we go. Now, for the head. The head is this simple shape, okay? The, the bottom of the head is pretty flat. You come, a, come across here. Come, a, come, a, come, a, come, come, Okay, you come across like this, and you come up right there. You kind of want to keep it even, so if you work on both sides, you'll get something that you'll enjoy. So you bring it up, around, just like that. It's kind of round. You want to make him look a little derpy? Make him cute. Make his head a little squashed. Let's give him some, let's give him some more ears. I like the color red. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a red kind of guy. Except green is my favorite color, so. Uh, I'm gonna bring his ears up here, kind of bring it back down. Just these cute little triangles, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And if you guys are worried about how your ears are too sharp or they're looking weird, just try to curve it just a little bit. Don't make it round like this. We go down here, let's all flip it over. You don't want ears that are looking like this or ears that are looking like this. Because those are, both of those weirds are, ears are weird. You gotta kind of make it a little round, right? And then we gotta finish off the top of his head right there. There we go, perfect. Now we're gonna give him a little fluff in his ears because all cats have that. Did you guys know that? All cats have that little bit of fluff? And if your cat doesn't, your cat's weird. Anyway, uh, let's go find something black. Let's go find something black to fill in his eyes, right? So if you can do whatever you want with a cat's eyes, you can do whatever you want with your cat. With my cat, I'm gonna give him just a little bit of a line right here, kind of fill it out just a little bit, make it almost like a sharp oval. So we're doing that with his other eye too, giving these two little sharp ovals, right? Let's give him some meanie brows, huh? Yeah, that's a good looking cat. I love cats that are mean because I could say that they have personality. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna give him a body. So you can do whatever you want with your body. I'm gonna make mine super simple. I'm gonna make him a little circle. He's a little chalk boy with that neck. Hold on. There we go. That's, that's perfect. That's a perfect cat right there. If you have cats that look like this, come, come send pictures to, to me because I would love to see your cat. And then we're gonna give him a little bit of fluff right here. And uh, one, two, three, you have your kitten. In my case, I have a very large cat. My cat ate a lot of food today and he's a little chunky. So don't, don't be mean to my cat. Anyway, so that's my cat. Come show us your own cats, draw your own cats. Make, make your cats however you want. You can make your cats with sharp ears. It, it doesn't matter. There's a whole bunch of ways you can draw cats. What I recommend is finding something online and using it as a reference because that's what a lot, a lot of artists do. They look at something that they can draw and they try drawing it. And if you want to challenge yourself that way, that's a good way to get better at doing art. Anyway, that is all that I have for today. Um, signing off, Marcus Yeager. Bye!